Hi, my name is Jonas and today we're going to build some DIY light reflectors for video or photography work. Now, not only are these things super cheap to build, I think this one cost me less than a dollar, but also are they super useful when it comes to lighting a person or an object inside or outside, that doesn't matter. If you want to, you can see some test results at the end of the video. Let's get started. For this build, we're going to need some cardboard, hot glue and tin foil. The first thing to do is choosing the size of our light reflector. Basically, you can make it any size or shape you need or want to. In this build, I chose a square form factor, which is 50 times 90 centimeters. I also decided to go for a design where the sides of the reflector are going to be flexible so that it will be easier to control the direction of the reflected light. This is simply done by pressing down a lineal onto the cardboard and squeezing it where you want to bend it later. Next we need to get some tin foil and bench it up to make tiny ridges and crevices. I would recommend to use a pair of gloves so you don't make holes into the fragile foil with your fingernails. Basically, it just has to be super uneven. The creases in the tinfoil will soften and diffuse the light which they reflect. That way you get less stronger shadows and the light will be spread more evenly. To apply the tinfoil to the cardboard, you simply spread thin lines of hot glue over your cardboard. You should especially pay attention to the outer edge. When the glue is cooled down, you fire up your grandmother's iron and put the tin foil on top of the with hot glue covered cardboard. The heat provided by it will warm up the hot glue and spread it evenly, so that a perfect hold is guaranteed. When ironing the foil, try not to apply too much pressure, as we want to avoid smoothing out the foil and losing the rough texture we created before. Afterwards, you cut off the overlapping tin foil and your build is pretty much done. Light reflectors are extremely versatile, but I'd say they are mostly used to reflect a light source and fill in the shadows the light source casts. In this example, I used the reflector for exactly that. The sunlight is bounced back from the reflector onto my face. I shot the clip again without using a reflector so you could have a side-by-side -side comparison. In my opinion, it makes the shot look so much better. I also use light reflectors for all kinds of different product shots. Especially when I'm shooting in low light, the light reflectors come in handy. You could also just use a second light, but to be honest, color accurate lights are also not the cheaper thing to buy. Since I only use one light for most of my lighting setups, the reflector is a great way to cheaply replace a second one. Overall, you just get so much uh, compared to the amount of money I put and you will put into this build. It's built like almost out of trash. So it would the cost were like zero or one dollar or something like that. And I really think it never hurts having an extra light reflector laying around. Sometimes it like really can step up your, your uh, lighting setup. So I'd highly recommend building you one and otherwise if you like this video uh, consider subscribing and otherwise I'd say see you next time.